All right, guys, the sun is setting on our job today, but I wanted to take just a quick minute to show you a few things we did on this front wall of our house. It's a super tall wall. It's like 22 feet in the middle, uh, which is a lot taller than your usual wall. Uh, we wanted to make it strong because I've seen some walls built like this where it's flimsy, like you push on it in the middle and it'll actually move like back and forth four or five inches, which, is, which isn't good at all. So um, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna build a tall wall, you take special precaution to make sure that it's sturdy enough to carry the load and not move when it gets pushed on. So the first thing we did was use LVLs and rip them down to make super long studs. I couldn't buy like a 22 foot long two by six stud. You could get a 16 footer, so I had to make some. So what I did was got 24 foot long LVLs, 11 and a quarter wide, then I ripped them about in half, made five and a half inch wide, uh, super long studs basically, to do the center underneath the ridge beam, which ended up being about 22 feet from floor to ridge beam. So uh, that was a good way to get that in one shot with no hinge point, and I put two of those on each side. All right, and the second thing we did was actually part of the architecture of this house. To really stiffen this front wall, we turned the front of it to an angle, 15 degrees, and made a prow. And that's a really good benefit of using a prow is that basically it takes your one wall and makes it into two separate walls that actually brace each other and make the house a lot sturdier on that front wall. All right, and the third thing I did to make this a good sturdy wall in the front of this house, where it's gonna take the brunt of the weather really, is that I made sure to leave enough space for plywood. I know people like the whole wall to be windows, but somewhere there has to be diagonal bracing, which the plywood does that. It actually is like continuous diagonal bracing when you nail it on. So we have about four feet on each side of each wall that keeps this front from racking from side to side. And if you didn't have that plywood, say it was just all windows, no plywood, you'd have to brace it in some other way. So that bracing, that plywood, that four foot on each side really helps to make this house strong side to side as well as front to back from the other stuff. So what if you have a house that has a flimsy tall wall and it's already built? Well, there is one thing we've done in the past and that's to bolt a big timber from floor to ceiling to that wall on the inside of your finished surface, like on the inside of your drywall. And it kind of looks like an accent and it also works as a stiffener, makes the wall a lot stronger. Thanks for watching our video today. I hope it helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it.